Hello and welcome back to another Slayer's Fire stream. I'm your host, Vegetable Bread, and today we're going to be doing the silent, starting off with that. This is our Pandora's Box series, so Phil to the Spire is going to find us a seed where the swap gives us a box. Two Wraith Worms in the box. Um, it seems like a good outcome. Um, <laughs> I think you're expected to win that one. Um, not amazing for Act 1, I guess. Um, we'll need to prioritize fires, get these wraith forms upgraded, so that we can, you know, have more than, more than one, uh, turn of, uh, intangibility for free, since we do have three energy. We'll have to spend a full turn playing the wraith form. Yeah, no exhaust other than, well, the two wraith forms in the Caltrops kind of count, and, uh, Piercing Well also counts. Um, got some decent damage, heal hook, flechettes, poison stab, dagger throw. Um, not a ton of fuel for flechettes. Piercing whale, outmaneuver, and backflip. Um, uh, no source of weak outside of the neutralize for heal hook. We'll probably have to find something for that. Um, seems very possible to do heal hook infinite. Um, given that we have one in the starting deck, and a lot of exhausting stuff. Alright, let's take a look at the padding. Um, seems like we could easily do a Mega Elite with two Wraith Forms. Um, but the only way to do three Elites is this one, that one, and that one. So if we want to do three Elites, we don't do the Mega Elite. Uh, okay. Let's see, how does the path look getting to that guy? A little awkward. Probably do this path. Because that's three fights, two question marks. Um, maybe we want more fights, since we are pretty strong right now. Um, with the Wraith Forms, should be able to finish up fights without taking basically any damage in Act 1. So maybe we just want like five fights. I guess the max is four here. Basically never forced to take a question mark. We only take one question mark the whole run with that route. Or the whole act. Might be a little bit ambitious. I definitely don't want to get... Um, get caught out thinking I'm stronger than I am. Also, it would be nice to get extra fires, right? Because fires are wraith form upgrades. If we want fires, there's a bunch on this left path. Two elites and then... Three bonus fires and a late shop, if we want it. So maybe we do that. It's also got four fights for the first elite. That's what we wanted to do anyway. So we're cutting out an elite for two extra fires, basically. Seems pretty sensible. Yeah, I think I like that better. Okay. Uh, Neutralized Heal Hook starts us off. Um. Hmm. Play Wraith Form now. I guess if we backflip and Dagger Throw, we're likely to get the Piercing Whale. Or Survivor. Would we take Sneko? That's a good question. Uh, Alright, well, we can't play Wraith Form now. Um, this is 4 damage, this does 3 damage. We're gonna get energy next turn. If we get energy next turn, we'll feel better playing Wraith Form next turn. Let's do that. Can't play 2 Wraith Forms, though. I think we probably would take Sneko Eye. Helps us draw our Wraith Forms, decosts the Wraith Forms. It would mess up a um, Heal Hook Infinite, though. So we have to kind of see how we feel about that when we get there. Let's try and draw another skill. Okay. Blade Dance, Tactician, and Piercing Whale. Great cards. Um, I guess there's nothing in the deck that says to pick a Tactician. Got a survivor and a dagger throw our only discard options. 
Uh, Blade Dance is excellent. Helps with flechettes as well. Piercing Whale's block that doesn't depend on decks, and that's nice for Wraith Forms, because we're going to run out of decks. We'll just take a Blade Dance, though. Seems like could use a little bit more damage. Uh, our main damage is just like Dagger Throw, Poison Stab. Uh, Heal Hook only does 5 damage, and Flechettes sometimes does 0. Okay. Uh, Piercing Whale blocks out. I think I'm just going to neutralize one heal hook the other just to split both. Uh, let's see, we do 9 damage next turn. Through two sources. So 9's a break point. We'll put him below 9. Let's use a 10. Okay. Mm um, do we have lethal? Yes. Okay. Second blade dance, huh? It's a lot of damage. Calculated gamble could help us draw to infinites. Get a reflex or something. Um, I think we just take another Blade Dance and then we're like done taking damage. I guess it's not great against Guardian, huh? So I don't want to be forced to attack 20 times, but it's so good. Alright, last easy pool fight. Nine, and then eleven, and then twelve damage. It's funny. Poison stab does as much damage as Blade Dance does in one turn over three turns. Jeez. That card's silly. Um, I guess we just wraith form. Take one. I don't think we have lethal, so. Okay, uh, I don't think we're taking footwork. We're planning on just blocking with wraith forms. Same with deflect. Seems unnecessary. Uh, predators okay? Yeah, the Pandora's did have two wraith forms in it. Wraith form, wraith form. Good morning, blood. How's it going? Uh, Predator's nice. Could draw us big hands for the flechettes. We're probably just gonna remove the flechettes eventually. Not a big fan of flechettes. Although we do have two blade dances to support it now. Ready for some Pandora's. Yes! And it takes from Pandora's month so far. I mean, it's hard to learn too much when you just like, when you're just sort of showered with victories, right? It's, not, it's like, you learn more from losing than from winning, right? Because from winning, you just know you're like, you know you're above the bar. You're like, we did enough correct things that this that we ended up in the good place. But if you lose, you're like, okay, what what did we lose to? Right? How did we lose? What did we do wrong? There's like answers to your questions. Um, so we've had two losses. Um, I also go back and look at the the ironclad loss because that one was was actually interesting. We like died in Act Three. Um, and. Uh, and we died with once with Watcher in Act 1. I don't know if that Watcher 1 was even winnable, though. It was just like... Pandora's can give you like a totally terrible swap, right? And that's what happened for, for the Watcher. Um, we skip here. I don't think... I think we're done taking damage. Predator's just more damage. I don't think we can do this. Uh, we are going to shop later, probably. But uh, this is a long way to carry a doubt.
Uh, if we play Dagger Throat, we can't play Wraith Form. <clears throat> Neutralize Piercing Wild mostly blocks out. Still take damage. Let's do this first. Hey, Blast Passer. Um... I guess uh, Poison Stab is probably more damage than Caltrops. Caltrops is probably only 6 damage. Wraithworm is pretty slow, but we've only got 8 damage this turn max. We've got 24 next turn. 24 is actually lethal next turn. I guess if we're having lethal next turn, we could just backflip Survivor, but then we might draw one of the... If we draw both Blade Dances, we're pretty sad. If we draw one, we just play it. Drawing both is pretty unlikely. It's a uh, one out of six. This is not that unlikely. Even if we do draw both, we can just play one and then hopefully get the damage next turn. Okay. I guess maybe that wasn't worth it because it was. We could have just taken one guaranteed by playing Wraith Form and had lethal. As it was, we took zero, but it was slightly more risky. Did math on the VOD. Second wind power through generated 64 block and blocked an entire multi almost by itself with a shrug. The following turn, the combo saved you 60 life. That sounds like... It's similar to the kind of math we were doing yesterday, but it must be... You must be talking about Blumstream. Gross. <laughs> um, fumes would be some scaling. That seems bad. No, no, no worries. It's it's interesting to see what other people are up to. Uh, we could pick a second Caltrops. That doesn't seem very helpful. Expertise also not usually very good. Okay. Um. This fight's a little bit yikes. They have a, a gigantic combined health pool. Um, they have like 120 total health. Um, so we can't really like wraith form and hope that they're dead by the end of it. We have to like actually have a plan. Uh, and the, the outside two both rolled really high health. I think the max is 45. The min is like 39, so he's he's high too. This doesn't do anything. Okay. Oh yeah, we have multiple blade dances. Um so I want to develop the Caltraps, but unfortunately I can save 10 health by not playing it right now. If I just play these three and, like, block bot. Block out. So it'd be nice to get Caltraps developed, because it's it's probably more damage total than Poison Stab is. I guess we could take 8 damage to develop Caltraps. Feels pretty bad, though. Seems like we we actually like could die in this fight. So I'd prefer not to take extra damage. I guess he takes nine from that, so we can put one shiv on this guy. Oh shoot. I'm supposed to block bot. Well we'll have another opportunity to block bot in the fight, probably. <laughs> We're skipping Caltraps again. Did the box give you two Wraith Forms? It did. Yeah. Alright, yeah, here's our... Here's our block bot. Let's get rid of Piercing Whale, too. Blade Dance neutralizes one damage off. Killing that sentry.
Uh, I guess I still do it, because it saves three health. Okay. Uh, do I have a Wraith Form this turn? It saves 9 health next turn. And if he attacks a time after that, we're in big trouble. Actually, are we in big trouble? We might. We draw the other Wraith Form eventually. So he attacks next turn. The turn after that, he doesn't attack. And then, if he is going to attack the following turn, we either have drawn the other Wraith form by then, or, or it's in the bottom three. Yeah, I think I'm going to play it. Yeah, it seems like it did block for ten. Or block for nine. And didn't cost us anything. Okay, great. Kunai. Wow, Kunai with two Blade Dances. Blade dances. <laughs> um, dash is also a good uh, kunai payoff card. If uh, if a turn is blade dance dash, I'm pretty happy. Um, we actually don't have any like block cards other than backflip, which got the one. So maybe we should have taken that deflect. Is three too many? I don't know. Blade dance is a hell of a card. Um, one energy deal twelve is like it's not too many cards to do that. Yeah, and we have a kunai. Um. I think honestly, I think we just take dash though, because we, we're against um, guardian. And we don't have currently. We don't have a way to really block. Um. Yeah, burst can act like the third blade dance. We don't really actually have too high skill density, so like burst piercing whales fine. Burst backflips, okay. Burst blade dance is obviously what we'd be picking it for mainly, but like burst nothing is also an option. Burst out maneuver is not great. Yeah, I think we're just gonna take a dash and pay off the the can I like that. Uh, twenty four health. Can we upgrade a wraith form here? Uh, while we're considering that, I need to take a quick break. Be right back.
Oh wow, you got a you got the world record. That's sweet. What's sorry? What what world record were you chasing? Nice. Well, good luck on uh, on ten. That's intense. I definitely cannot get. I'm, I struggle to get like a two game win streak with Ironclad, so that's very impressive. <laughs> well, don't stress out about it. You'll you'll make your make your play worse. Um, so if we smith a wraith form, do we ever die to the elite? If it's Gremlin knob. Uh, no, I don't think we ever die. Maybe though. Alright. Okay, it's not Gremlin knob. Surprise, surprise. Um, I think we're going to want to start with a ideally double blade dance hand. So that we can get a couple of decks, get ahead of them. So I think we just skip here. We don't want backflip because then we could draw one of our two blade dances and split them. Which we don't want. Uh, Alright, I guess we'll develop Caltrops. Uh, Piercing Whale is not super effective in the fight. We could just play it right now to get rid of it. Um, I think that's a reasonable thing to do. Very likely to get double blade dance next turn. Might even get neutralized heel hook in on it. All right. Well, we missed the neutralized heel hook, but we got the double blade dance. So I'll take two decks, please. And then we have to choose between five damage and two energy next turn. Uh, we're likely to want to play a Wraith form next turn, so I think two energy makes a lot of sense. That lets us like backflip into Wraith form, for example. Um, I think we actually play the small Wraith form because um, the big Wraith form gives us more flexibility. Wait, this is stupid. Why would I play the small one? Yeah, we just play the big one. It's not like we're not going to play them both, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't feel super fair to log a villain here, but... Um, three attacks or more damage, but no dex rock. Um, dash also blocks. This is super unfair. <laughs> I think I'll take the more damage and try to perfect the fight. I like how we're playing Wraith Forms against Logavulin and our dex is still going up. <laughs> I guess our dex is neutral now, or negative, yeah. Uh, we did not draw Wraith Form this turn. We are tangible. Um, we don't have lethal. So we have to actually, like, block. Gross. Uh, Dagathur could draw Wraith Form, which means we can't play it, because then we wouldn't be able to play the Wraith Form. So I think we're just like survivor outmaneuver poison stab this turn. This is four damage. <laughs> he did slightly get us. Yeah, shivs against Logavulin. A little bit scary if you're too slow. Um, okay. Ornithopter, so that's 10 health right off the bat. This Ornithopter is, like, pretty insane. 
I don't understand why Toy Ornithopter is a common. It seems like it changes the game so much. I guess there's other commons that also change the game a lot, like... Um, preserved Insect. Um, and, like, Art of War, but, like... It's kind of just, like, those are the three most powerful common relics as well. A um, little bit silly. Uh, escape plan is actually an infinite here. If we get the card removes. Yeah, bag of prep. Because um, we have escape plan into heel hook. It's a pretty weak infinite. Um, zero block, five damage per two cards. Um, I kind of think we're just going to ignore the infinite and just do kunai scaling stuff. Um, we could take Calculated Gamble and keep it open. Yeah, that is the Blem. His Bleminence has graced us with his presence. Kronger, in his name. Um... Yeah, sure. Potion belt without Ornithopter, sure. <laughs> Seems great. Gives us a little bit more flexibility. Uh, let's go ahead and rest here and then upgrade uh, Wraith Form with the other one. I think 11 is a little bit, a little bit scary. Yeah, yeah, this, Wraith this uh, Pandora's Wax is pretty good. Uh, fight or question mark? Uh, big fish is probably better than a fight. I think five max HP is more important than the scaling we get from a fight, but it's kind of close. I mean, we have forty percent potion chance and like kind of absurd potion scaling, so fights are pretty good. Uh, Dead adventure is another elite. That would be great. Um, Golden Idol is good. That increases our meta scaling for the rest of the run. Living Wall is great. What would we do at Living Wall? Uh, probably Transform Flechettes or Outmaneuver. Actually, Outmaneuver is pretty good with the Wraith Forms. So maybe, yeah, I guess Flechettes. What's the mod that shows the events? It's called Info Mod. Um, mushrooms is kind of like an extra elite. Uh, we, I think we take some damage to Mushrooms. Um... But probably not too much. We don't really need the um, Odd Mushroom that much, though. Because, uh, you know, we have Wraith Form, so we're, we don't really care about um, Vulnerable that much. Uh, Scrappy is just a little spooky. Kind of like an Elite. Um, but it's it, it's an Elite that we can't cheese with Wraith Form, right? Um, so, not a great one for us. But probably still better than a, a Hallway Fight. Shining Light's really bad. <laughs> we, I don't think we're interested in that. Um, Cleric is quite good. Card removes are good. Wing Statue is good. Card remove again. World of Goop is probably bad. So, kind of a mix. I can see it going either way. Um, I think I'm going to do the question marks to try and get some gold before the shop. It's a little bit of a weak shop. Alright, well, this is what I asked for, so I guess I'll take it. Um, do we rest again? Or upgrade Wraith Form. Um, I think we can probably upgrade Wraith Form and maybe maybe rest at the at the end. Maybe not if we feel strong. All right, it's a fight. Um. I think we could probably kill one. I think we could kill this one. He's only at 21 health. 12 plus 8. No, it's only 20. So I guess we reform. Uh, we've got sources of 9 damage, so I'll put him below 9. Nobody's weaking.
guess we could use piercing wheel to save one health there instead of playing the uh, caltrops. Probably don't need the caltrops damage. Dash blocks out. That kills him over two turns. Sweet. Not the cleanest fight. Got through it. Uh, second heal hook? Gosh, maybe we are supposed to do an infinite. Um, so let's see. It's a 17 card deck with one, two. Three, four, five, six removes. So it's currently an 11 card deck. We'd have to add one, so we'd go up to 12. We'd need four removes over three acts. We're about to go to a shop. Um, I'm not a huge fan of double heal hook infinites in general, because it's just like you spend a lot of cards doing not very much damage. It doesn't matter in most fights, but it matters in the heart fight and time meter and like spikers. Um, but in this case, since we have the kunai, if we spend, like, nine attacks playing heal hooks and, like, two attacks playing, or two cards, like, playing survivor and one card for, like, setting up, that, like, definitely beats time meter, because we just scale our decks so hard, we get three decks per turn with that. Um. So I think it's probably, probably a pick here, and then we pivot a little bit. And then we remove like flechettes and poison stab and outmaneuver and neutralize basically everything that isn't card draw or blade dance or heal hook or wraith form. <laughs> do we want do we want a third wraith form? Um, yeah, sure. Can we definitely help make the scaling go faster? Um. <clears throat> Hey, guitar. Yeah, Abacus does solve the heart. That is true. Uh, can we afford Abacus Wraith form? Blem did win, Merle. He's at the... He's at the uh, world record mark. Preparing to break it on the precipice, setting a new world record. No pressure, but... Do it. Um... I kind of like Abacus card remove regen pot here. Skipping a wraith form feels weird, but um, we already have two, and Abacus makes the deck um, really, really good in the situations that it might not otherwise be good. What's uh, what's going on with Jeremiah? Also, have we all agreed as a community that that's how you pronounce Jeremiah? I'm, like, familiar with his name in text, but... Um... <laughs> Jeremiah. Um... I feel like the regen pot makes the Guardian fight a lot safer. He had a speedrun phase where he tried to beat every world record. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um. Yeah, two two wraith forms to uh um blade dance, yeah. We've also got two heal hooks, so we got this is a Noah's Ark. Also, respect the upgrades, please. These are not Wraith Forms. These are Wraith Form Pluses. Um. How did Jeremiah steal 50k channel points? Seems rude. <laughs> Um, yeah, I haven't actually talked very much about my game on stream recently, uh, which is part of failure of self-promotion and part intentional, because I'm, I'm a little bit 
a little bit wobbly on the on the theme currently. Um, it's uh, it's sort of going through a revision, um, previously known as Rogue Executive, where it was like business themed, um, but I think I'm I think I'm switching that. The uh, I recently invested a lot of effort into like figuring out what the art style of the game is. Um, I'm starting to build the build the art pipeline, uh, which was way more work than I anticipated. And as a result of of that art pipeline, um, I wanted to sort of let those changes ripple through the rest of the game design. And the art, um, the sort of like key key uh, feature of the art is like bend day dots, which are sort of a a lithographic uh, process used to manufacture early comic books, or uh, I guess golden age comic books is what they're called. Um, it's the thing with the little dots that uh, Roy Lichtenstein turned into a big uh, pop art sensation. Uh, although his things aren't really Ben Day dots, because the point of them is that they're so small they, they blend together. Uh, and he made them huge, <laughs> which is fun, but not really the same thing. Um, and so as a result of having, having comic books sort of like implicitly as part of the theme, I'm moving away from the business thing now. Um, so uh, my, current, my current theme for the game is... Um, uh, uh, it's called uh, Super Tactics, and you're on a game show where everyone has superpowers. And so, like, if you win, you get more superpowers, um, and you're, like, fighting other people with superpowers uh, in sort of a reality TV show format. Um, yeah. So that's that's what I've been up to. Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully I'll be able to uh, let, you, let you have the game in... Uh, you know, maybe less than a year. Maybe we're we're creeping up on the, the like I could I could ship this in a year sort of boundary. Um, the real boundary when I know like the ship date is is when when you're six months out. When you're about six months out, then it's like the game yeah, like you have a trailer for it, you have like a Steam page, and you're just like fixing bugs, jamming in content, um, finishing finishing. Uh, but we're not we're not that close to six months out yet, so. I can't have to commit to a release date. What are the gameplay mechanics, deck building, etc.? Um, so it's primarily uh, tactical. So you're like on a board, um, and there's enemies on the board. So if you, if you play like um, Into the Breach, Into the Breach is probably the best um, uh, comparison in the marketplace. Um, but Into the Breach has like comparatively simple uh, skills, where it's like you uh, do one damage and push a guy. And um, this is more of like an RPG thing. So you like start with, with simple skills, but you know, like building upgrades on them and, and stuff. So they can get more complicated. Blems in the playtest, excellent. Let me record that. That's exciting. Um, having the world record holding Ironclad playtest my game clearly would give very relevant professional gamer feedback. <laughs> Huge on RPGs, nice, cool. Yeah, it's. I, um, I mean, it, it is an RPG, but it's an RPG in in the sense of like um, that, like roguelikes are RPGs, right? Like we're playing we're playing Silent, so this is like technically an RPG, right? We're like doing doing like deck building, and that's that's sort of building our character tableau. Uh, it's sort of a, an RPG in that sense. I wouldn't say it's like there's not like you know there's no like romance, for example. You can't, can't like really develop a relationship with a character sort of outside the scope of the game, but technically you're playing a role. <laughs> um, all right, I think, yeah, I think this this path is reasonable. I want the Wraith form, but I, I don't think I have enough money for it. Uh, I do have enough money for Abacus regen pot card remove, right? Let me just bust out a calculator really quick, because I don't want to get halfway through that and figure out I don't have enough money. Uh, 325, yeah. So we'll have nine gold left over. <laughs> Um, who's first to go? Flechettes? Outmaneuver? Poison Stab? I think it's probably Flechettes. Flechettes is pretty weak here. Technically all games are RPGs. Are they? What about like Tic-Tac-Toe? What role do you play in Tic-Tac-Toe? <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's Flechettes. Sorry Flechettes, sometimes you do zero damage. And that's just, that's too weak. Can't allow that. Okay, so we're effectively at like 41, because each of these potions gives us five health, so that puts us at 30, and then regen pot's worth 11. 
So at 41, I don't think we need um, we need to rest here. Um, I'm always a wizard when I'm playing tic tac toe. <laughs> Meow. Meow. I do think there is there's room for um for a game that like starts with tic tac toe and like builds on it. Um, because tic tac toe is like it's really great because it's it's so simple and it's also just like it's a it's an affordance that literally everyone understands. There's like no way that your player base has not encountered tic tac toe before. Um, so I think it's pretty useful, and I haven't really seen anybody make a tic tac toe like. Um, so I think we can afford an upgrade, but, like, is there an upgrade we actually want? Is it, like, neutralize? Um, maybe it's dash. Dash has got a pretty nice upgrade. A <laughs> tic-tac-toe, like, yeah. Um, there is a Marvel tic-tac-toe game. Oh, that's too bad. Is Connect 4 tic tac toe like? I guess it is, yeah. I don't know about calling Go grown up tic tac toe. That seems seems sort of uh, reduction to absurdism. I mean, you could kind of call anything on a grid grown up tic tac toe at that point. <laughs> Twister is tic tac toe with your body. <laughs> Um, wow, the lore guy, I, like, hardcore disagree with what you said. The reason why game devs don't look to tic-tac-toe for inspiration is that tic-tac-toe is a textbook example of bad game design. I think if, if that, I, so, clearly tic-tac-toe, okay, so, I, let me get the agree part out of the way first. Clearly tic-tac-toe is not a game intended to be interesting for adults to play, right? Like, just stating the obvious. Uh, but to call it, to call it blanket bad game design, I think is also... Uh, missing the point, right? It's a it's a game that you can teach to children, <laughs> to teach them like what what it what it means to play a game, right? Like we're going to be at cross purposes here. Um, we're not working together on this. You have to imagine what I'm going to do before you choose what you're going to do. Um, and in that sense, it's great game design, right? It's a it's a uh, case study in teaching people about stuff. And obviously, like, anything that popular can't just be, like, bad game design. I think dismissing something as bad game design just prevents you from learning the lessons that it can teach you. Um, maybe it's a mistake to do an upgrade here. Um, not because, like, we can't afford it, but because, like, there's nothing really good. I don't know. Maybe it's, like, backflip plus. It's, like, not very exciting, but I think it gets a lot of play during the... Um, during the Guardian fight. Yeah, Gamble gamble could work. I, gamble adds a card to the deck, though. And I think we're trying to get down to a heal hook loop, maybe. Um, you know what? We should definitely do neutralize. We have two heal hooks. <laughs> we need more weak uptime. Yeah, this is, this, is the, this is what we're supposed to do. Okay. All right, two decks, please. Um, Calculated Gamble gets us uh, two cards with one energy. Um, proof that bad games can be popular is Charades and Monopoly. Sure. Yeah, I definitely hate Monopoly. <laughs> that's, that's fair. Um, charades is pretty fine. Yeah, I don't. I know that Monopoly has like a complicated history, but I like I don't. I don't understand how it became so popular. Um, I do want to get a split next turn if we can. Oh. Alright. I don't know what I was expecting there. 
Um, can we split here? There's no attacks to drag. It's neutralized technically as an attack. Um, these two, 18. That's too low, so we'd have to use attack bot to split. Uh, Alright, let's see it. Grand finale. Great. Um, unload does a lot of damage. It should work. With unload, we can um, we can still get a Dex proc and play dash this turn, which I believe is slightly more damage. Uh, so we want to creep up on 20 damage. We don't want to do like 19 damage, and then unload. So we could do like dagger throw, dash, unload. Um, but poison stab develops poison, which does damage over time. And if we play multiple poison stabs, we can stack it up. Um, I guess the real question is, do we want to draw this hand next turn? That basically forces us to Wraith form. Hey, Max Max. Yeah, this uh, Pandora's Max had two Wraith forms in it, so that's what we're doing today. Yeah, I, I kind of don't like that hand, so I think we're going to dagger through it here. Well, that's not very helpful. I guess, um... Huh. I guess we could backflip now if we really want to avoid this hand. It seems like a pretty bad hand. I think I'm going to avoid it. So then we're playing the backflip, so we want to keep the poison stab. Okay. Is Max also on a streak? Oh my god. <laughs> what's what's Max's streak? I know I we were just talking about Blem's streak, and then Max was on a streak too. You guys are really good at this game. <laughs> 16, my god. Um okay, so backflop backflop. Backflip Caltrops. Outmaneuver makes some sense here. Maybe outmaneuver gets replaced by whatever this draws. Um yep. Um, hmm. Well, we could Blade Dance for a Dex, but it would cost us some health. Yeah, honestly, like, I can't. <laughs> uh. <laughs> wow, Meryl, it's so rude. Jeez. <laughs> Um, um, yeah, Caltrops Outmaneuver is nice because it, like, develops Caltrops. Does Caltrops really do more damage than Dash does right now, though? I guess it does, right? Sets up Outmaneuver for next turn. We might need Wraith Form to block next turn. Yeah, right. Alright, see you around, Blaster Pastor. Ooh, Monster Hunter. Nice. Um. Piercing Whale does a decent job blocking this turn. We could skip Wraith Form for yet one more turn. Should probably be drinking this regen pot. Seems like we're going kind of too slow to, to avoid drinking it. Um. If we Wraith Form, we can play three attacks. And we lose three health, but that's probably worth it. For the Dex and the damage. Save the Piercing Whale for a Whirlwind turn. Makes sense. Okay. Heal it first, since it's free. Um, so Poison Stab Outmaneuver versus Dash. 
Uh, both block out. Poison Stab does more damage over time. Uh, might as well. Um, if we drop the second Wraith form, we are going to start losing decks. There's no way we can keep up with two of them. And he's not attacking this turn. Yeah, yeah, I feel really bad, because I, I did my, my series where I, like, did, um, did each class. I did, like, each class for a month. I didn't get 50% win rate on, like, any class, including Watcher. Um... People are way better than me. Yeah, if we backflip, uh, we can get six attacks. Three, no. Yeah, yeah, three, four, five, six, yeah. Seems reasonable. I don't feel super obligated to play. Uh, uh, are we punching through armor here? Yeah, we are. Okay, so it doesn't matter. The order. Okay. Oh. Uh, I have an extra energy. Whatever. Um. Could heal hook to try and draw backflip or dash. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Not a great turn to draw both blade dances. So worst case scenario, we play both heel hooks, we don't find backflip or dash to the bottom two. Then we play like outmaneuver. And take, let's see, net 15 damage. Seems like we probably survived that. Um, best case scenario, we heel hook into immediate backflip. Um, that's true. Yeah, next turn is fine if we just end. We're, we're under some pressure, though, to, to get damage in, so I think I'm going to heal hook at least once. All right. Well, now it's a two-thirds. We don't live in the darkest timeline. Backflip casually blocking for 10. Uh, is this lethal? Neutralize, heal hook, heal hook is free. Yeah, it is lethal. Okay. Uh, Dive by Doppelganger and Corpse Explosion. Uh, Corpse Explosion is kind of neat, actually. Corpse Explosion's got some utility, right? We could use it to solve, like, shapes, which is currently difficult to solve. Um, uh, Doppelganger is very interesting because it can draw us the 10 card hand where we can do heel hook loops. Um, and it exhausts itself so it doesn't add a card to the deck. Die to die is also good just because we're about to go fight Act 2 and um, it does a bunch of AoE damage and also doesn't remove add a card to the deck, so makes some sense. Um, but Doppelganger like, actually helps this combo, which Die to Die does not do. Um, Ascension 20 to 40? <laughs> yeah, outmaneuver into a doppelganger. It's cute. Doppelganger could let us pick, like, chemical X. Are we... Okay, real talk. Are we actually doing heel hook loops in this deck, or are we just killing people with, like, Blade Dance and blocking with Wraith Form? Because I'm pretty okay just, just playing Blade Dance until the end of the game. Find an accuracy. Just kill people. Not worry about doing infinites. 
17 card deck, one, two, three, four, five, six removed, so it's an 11 card deck currently. Um, we'd have to remove three cards to realistically get to, uh, to, uh, whatchamacallit, to uh, like a deck that can heal hook against the heart. We bought the, the Abacus though, or an Abacus, some Abacus. A random abacus lying on the side of the road. Most of its little pegs have fallen off. It's been rained on. The paint's chipping away. But it was deeply loved by some child in the past. A child that was learning basic mathematics. Um, uh... So if we remove three cards, the three cards are like Poison Stab, Outmaneuver, Dagger Throw. Um, removing cards also makes our Wraith form on turn one more consistent. Um, there are other advantages to having small decks other than being able to infinite. But there's advantages to having die, 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 too, which is, like, we can kill a slaver on turn one, or you can clear out all the gremlins from Gremlin Knob. Uh, definitely less effective in, like, Act 3 and 4. So I guess the question is, are we worried about Act 2? If we're not worried about Act 2, we can pick Doppelganger and try to... Whatever, go off on turn 3. We have plenty of time, right, because we have two Wraith Worms. So even if we take, like, two setup turns, we still kill the heart before we run out of time. And I'm assuming setup turns we do zero damage. Um, yeah, I think I like Doppelganger. It's a really effective card if you've got setup turns. Oh, we can just draw 10 cards with Runic Pyramid. <laughs> Never mind. Who needs this Doppelganger? Um, Alright, we're definitely doing infinites now. Um, Sacred Bark is kind of cute with Ornithopter Potion Belt. Um, could theoretically get, uh, like, Ghost in a Jars or something. Um, get an Alchemize, maybe. Some fun stuff. Um, Ectoplasm seems terrible. We're trying to remove cards. We've only got 80 gold. Ectoplasm puts us in a position where we can't infinite, which neither of the other do, others do. Uh, but Runic Pyramid seems insane here, so I think we're 100% we're picking Runic Pyramid. We can't have hand size issues that prevent us from buying Blade Dance effectively. Uh, but we also have, like, Outmaneuver, so we should be able to resolve our own hand size issues. Um, we calculated Gamble for fights that give us lots of wounds. Seems insane. Uh, might be dodging Act 2 Elites, though. Uh, it seems like the deck has a really strong, like, Act 3 plan, and is a little bit... Afraid of slavers. I don't know. I feel like we have so much time against slavers. Like even if we can't infinite, we just we just beat them up. And we have a calculated gamble, so I think we're fine. Uh, okay, what are we doing then? So I don't think we need to dodge elites, but I don't think we're like super enthusiastically pursuing them. Maybe we can do like two. So we want fires. Um, we can't go to a shop with less than 100, but once we get to 100, a shop is reasonable. Um, there's a three bonus fire path here. Gets only one elite, only super late in the act. Goes through an early shop. It's not, not an amazing path. There's a four elite path. One, two, three, four. That definitely would make us strong if we survive. Seems risky, though. I guess uh, most of the elites are optional. Um, this one is, is forced, and then we'd have to do one of these two. But it's this one's right after a fire, so we'd probably be fine. The others are all optional. Uh, 
Um, do we want to do a Mega Elite? We can do Mega Elite and three Elites. Freeze up our pathing for Act 3. Um, doesn't do any shops, though. We need the shops for card removes. We're doing one remove in Act 4, maybe. We probably want to be infinite before then. So ideally, we'd do, like, two removes in Act 2 and one remove in Act 3 to get there. Um, but it looks like two removes is probably not possible. I guess if we could do this triple fire path, we can go to... Go to two shops. We probably won't have enough money, though. That costs uh, 225. We've only got 80. Sorry, how much gold do you get from from fights? What's the minimum? Uh, I'm gonna look up the wiki really quick. Um. How do you find this? Um, so from normal get encounter, you get 10 to 20 gold. So minimum gold is 10. Um, oops, somebody's trying to make me famous. Need events for two removes? Yeah, probably. Uh, there's quite a few events that remove in Act 2. Ancient writing, um, Augmenter kind of counts because the transforms end up being removed sometimes. Uh, Council of Ghosts would be insane. <laughs> We'd have nine intangible. Um, uh, let's see, what else is a remove? Old beggars are remove. I guess only two of them are removes. Ancient writing and um, Augmenter. Oh wait, bold and old beggars. So three out of, out of twelve. So not a great chance of Act 2. Act 3 has Falling. Um, so if we get 10 gold per fight, we have 30 gold from there. That's 110. Yeah, there's no way we get 225. Uh, I guess minimum is 25 from Elite, so we get 50 from this little stretch. So 60 from that, 30 from the start. So it's an extra 90, go up to 170. It's not 225, though. If we get the max, can't, is it possible? Max is 20 from a normal encounter and 35 from an elite. So we get 60 from this start. Um, and then 70, yeah, 70 from these two, so that's 130. Plus another 20 there, so 150. So yeah, that actually would do it. Be 230. So we'd only be able to get, get five gold off the max to do both. It seems extremely unlikely. All right, I'm going to start going this way. Uh, we'll see if we want to do this elite. Yeah, I guess if the question marks are fights, we could get slightly more. Let's just get some damage in here. I guess we can hold Cal hold dash. Dash is block. I always, like, mess up my first pyramid fight because I forget I have it. I'm not going to do that today. I'm gonna remember. Um, hmm. How many Act 2 events give you money? I think it's just Nest. I guess Coliseum, technically, yeah. But we're, we're ineligible for Coliseum for these first events. We could get Coliseum, like, later. We could get Coliseum here, maybe. Coliseum is actually a lot of money. There's also the Joust, right? Is that a... I guess the Joust is a shrine. But, you know, we're eligible for shrines. It's worth considering. Um, kind of just want to play cards to get, get them out of hand. So, like, dash out maneuver, maybe. Okay. And do I play Doppelganger? I guess it doesn't doesn't draw me a card, right? Because I'm at five cards. So if I want to play Doppel for zero, I can just do that next turn. Time to begin the wraithing process. Uh, 
Um, backflip tr blocks out. Open blocks for two. Fills my hand up. Just dagger throw. And now I will doppel for zero. Okay, neutralized little heel hook. Um, get another outmaneuver in there and play Blade Dance. Sure, this seems fine. Uh, we have five energy, so we can play three attacks and block with the dash. Um, let's hold the dazes. Um, okay. And Blade Dance should be lethal. If we can find some hand room. Looks like there's gobs of lethals here. Okay. Um, Crippling Cloud gives us an extra source of weak. Um, which could be nice, although I'm pretty fine with Pyramid and Neutralize Plus. Um, so I don't think we really need another source. Slice seems super unnecessary, although it could help re relieve our hand size issues. But we can't really add cards now. Yeah, I believe it is time for Kronger. The The ancient rituals have been invoked. We've talked about an infinite. I think we've decided we're going for it. It has been decided. The cards are Kronger. <laughs> His Bluminence himself has invoked the Kronger. Kronger has become... Uh, library adds cards. We actually get full day, almost full day out of sleeping here. We get 12 health. Um, adding cards isn't necessarily bad, because it could be, like, another wraith form, or something that exhausts. Um, what's the card we want the most? Hey, Hubba the Bubba. Oh, man, I feel like I've said your name on stream before, but it's been a long time. Did you Did you come to the stream, like, like three months ago or something. There's no way to forget the name Hubba the Bubba. Thank you. Um, I don't. I don't really want to add cards, though. I don't want to be forced to add cards. Accuracy. That's true. Accuracy would be great. Concentrate. It's worth considering. Yeah. Good point. Does concentrate make it easier to infinite, or no? I think it doesn't. I think it's it actually counts against us in terms of hand size. I think I'd rather take an exhaust card than a concentrate. So I guess like piercing whale would be what we're looking for. Yeah, I think we're just gonna rest. I'd rather just have twelve health than a piercing whale. Duplicate a Wraith Form Plus? I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Alright. This run's very silly. These guys don't care about Wraith Form. Um. Um. Yeah, this is a very spooky silent. Oh, we do actually get to knock one now. Okay, sweet. Where's my caltrops? There it is, found it. Um. Huh, we're actually not able to knock one down, even though we have Blade Dance in hand. Blade Dance is our only attack here. Thanks for the follow, Hubba the Bubba. Appreciate the support. Welcome to the Vegetable Batch. Um, 
Wraithform blocks for 1 plus 13 plus 6 here, which sounds like 20. Um, that seems worth doing. We still take 8, though. Survivor also blocks. Um, we maybe could kill him before he finishes attack. Oh yeah, that's true. Calculated gamble knocks one out. Good point. I think we can guarantee that actually. Yeah, we could have another blade dance coming up or piercing whale. Um. Gamble Wraith block out. Yeah, I think it probably does. Yeah, it actually blocks out exactly right because six. So lots of lines available here. Um, all of them involving calculated gamble. <laughs> There's another wraith over there. Oh my god, this deck's so silly. Uh, I kind of don't want to skip Caltrops though. Like I really want to get that developed if I can. So can we block out and develop Caltrops? Um, yeah. This deck is is very silly. So if we knock him down, piercing whale. Um, and develop Caltrops that would block out. We'd have to attack for zero, which we can't do. I guess if we redraw and neutralize, we could do it. Caltrops dance gamble. Yeah, but then we have one energy, and we like we have to play the piercing whale, and then he's not knocked down unless we draw neutralize. So I think it's safer to just wraith form calculated gamble. This is like never take damage in the fight, right? Wait, did we take damage there? I thought. Oh no, yeah, because he's he's they're attacking for eight total. I don't know why I thought it was six total. Um. Nobody's attacking this turn. <laughs> They're wasting my Wraith farm. Alright, I guess this is the turn we get that developed. So we'll knock you down. Um, and then I guess punch this guy while he's down. Alright, piercing whale blocks out here if we want it to. I guess dash also blocks out probably. Um Let's play outmaneuver this turn and like piercing whale. Outmaneuver piercing whale blade dance seems reasonable. Alright, I kinda want to use blade dance to knock one down, so I guess that I don't want to do that. So like outmaneuver, piercing whale, dagger throw, I guess. I think we need two Wraith Forms in hand. Let me get rid of this uh, Doppelganger. Mm, I chose the wrong target for that attack. I forgot we had Caltrox down. Alright, let's knock him down. My hand is refusing to get empty. Okay. Um. All right, Merle. What is it time for? I'm ready. I don't know. I don't know what's about to happen, but I'm ready for whatever. Exponential outmaneuver. But how? We just outmaneuver every turn. So you're suggesting we like we would outmaneuver more times each turn than we outmaneuvered last time, last turn. Which I guess we could, can we, how do we do that? We need like, like a, how do we, hmm. 
don't think we have enough card draw. We need like a... Uh, uh, what's it called? Like Sundial to do it. Well, wait, no, we need... Yeah. Let's see, how do we do... Is there, is there a way we can do it? Two calculated gamma pluses? Does that work? No, that doesn't work. Those aren't, those are card draw negative, not card draw neutral. Because, yeah, the problem is drawing the outmaneuvers, right? Because, like, outmaneuver backflip is energy neutral, right? So that doesn't quite work. Oh, I guess if we, if we do outmaneuver plus, if we do outmaneuver plus and backflip, that would be exponential, right? We'd be able to do it a, a more times per, per turn than last turn. So we need to get this upgraded. Okay. Merle's calling it, I believe. Um, uh, we could be a spooky ghost. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. Blocks for 21. This blocks for 18. We could block out without the spooky ghost and get a da blade dance in. All right. We do want to delay being spooky as long as possible, right? Yeah, Gamma Plus and Reflex would do it as well. That's true. Uh, <laughs> our hand is entirely spooky here, so we have no other options. Uh, we wouldn't need the Tactician. I mean, Tactician, Gamble Reflex Tactician is infinite by itself. What Merle's suggesting is that we do something sub-infinite. <laughs> Outmaneuver backflip and uh, heel hook, right? Um, sure. Alright, let's get another dex. Um, and I guess get like Caltraps developed. Get this out of the way. Um, do we calculate a gamble? Just to reduce the hand size by one? Sure. Playing lots of cards, the classic strategy for beating Snake Plant. You would never want to play fewer cards than this. You really got to get his Malleable up as high as possible if you want to win this fight. I guess it's time to play another Wraith form. I guess we can get a Dex Prox without Blade Dance here. We can Dagger throw Poison Stab into it. That's right. <laughs> yeah. The classic malleable uh, Melter combo. Feared by all snake plants across the land. I guess heel hook is free, so we can afford out maneuver here. Neutralize also free. Um, draws us a card next turn. Might as well. Um, we're almost there. If we play this wraith form, are we infinite? So stupid. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, there's only five cards to draw, and we've got six cards in hand, so yeah, it should be infinite next turn. Heel hook draws heel hook. Put it on the board. Oh my god. 
he's still alive. Okay. <laughs> I like took my hand off the keyboard, had to put it back. So I was like, no, he's not dead. He's got malleable. Um, your finisher theoretically does an infinite amount of damage, which is cute, but unnecessary. Um, super close to an infinite with blade dance and venom sadistic nature. But everything kept dying before I could go infinite. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait, how does that work? Blade dance and venom sadistic nature. I can see how that does a lot of damage, but it, what what's infinite about it? None of those like draw cards or give energy back or anything. I mean, sadistic nature is free. Um, pretty sure cards are Kronger here. I'm not an expert in the topic, but it seems like we have Kronger cards. Um. We talked about Outmaneuver Plus. Um, oh, Acro Tactician, sure. That'll definitely do it. <laughs> Seven and one, with six of the wins being infinite. Yep. Infinites are good. They're very strong. Um... Yeah, I mean, I, it's it makes sense for the deck to want to be both infinite and exponential, right? In, like, parallel, but somewhat synergistic manner. I don't know. Maybe we should just take a backflip plus. Um, or... Yeah, I mean, we do have energy problems, so, like, Outmaneuver is, is solving a real problem, right? Approaching critical anti cronker <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, what else are we going to do? I guess Doppelganger draws an extra card. Merle, are you like, are, are, those, uh, are those eight runs, are they all Watcher runs or are you rotating? Could upgrade, like, Survivor for extra block. Um, yeah, I guess I'll... I guess I'll do that maneuver. Uh, there's Sundial. We missed it. Can't have it. Trat. Um... Um, so we have an infant now. We just need to remove cards to do it in Act 4, basically. We're just against the heart. Um, or I guess also against Spire Elliots, right? Um, so, card remove. Card remove, leave. Um, Fairy in a bottle size, too. Fairy in a bottle only works if you die, though. I don't really want to die. I just want to win. Uh, what's the next card to get removed? Poison Stab, probably. Yeah, Dagger Throw could get removed, but it says card draw on it, which is kind of nice sometimes. Um, after that, it's like... Survivor? I guess we don't really need to think that far ahead. I think it's probably Poison Step here. Too many Wraith Form Pluses, that's right. <laughs> Get these out of the way. They're just stopping me from infiniting. Remove Neutralize. Yeah, that would... Uh... <laughs> neutralize is a permanent card in the deck, that's that's true. Uh, it's an attack. Um... Uh, these fires are pretty bad. Um... Not really doing anything for me. So I guess I'll go fight an elite. Uh do we ever die to slavers? With our three Wraith Form pluses? Probably not. We'll have to be a little care careful about the calculated gamble. Make sure that's lining up with wounds. Alright, that's not. That's not very scary. We are letting the uh, gremlin survive this turn, so she's likely to buff here. Or I think guaranteed to buff. 
So we definitely need to kill this sneaky gremlin. RM. Um, yeah, so we opened two Wraith Forms in Pandora's box, and then we upgraded both, and then we found the Duplicator Shrine. Um, we were also offered a Wraith Form at a shop, but we didn't buy it. Could have four. Um, I guess Dash blocks out, makes some room for Blade Dance. I'll just exhaust this, because it's getting in the way. Not necessary for this fight. Um, Caltrops actually kills the Sneaky Gremlin, it's kind of convenient. So like, Caltrops outmaneuver Survivor or something. Oh, he doesn't die because he got the armor. <laughs> Darn, I thought he was dead. Um, looks like we have to play a Wraith form this turn, or kill him. I guess we can just kill him. That's right, we're doing the exponential. Wait, we don't have the... I guess with the backflip, backflip we can maybe get it. Okay, let's do the heel hook thing. Yeah, I guess with uh, with Calculated Gamble we can, we can draw into it. Start the exponential. Um, I don't want that guy dead. I don't need to hold two Wraith Forms. Um, I guess we could just play a Wraith Form to get rid of it, but we're not being attacked this turn, so we kind of get a free, free turn here. No intangible required. I don't really want to gamble, because I've got um, Ascender's Bane. kind of want to get rid of that. So I guess I'll backflip to try and find some more damage. Okay. Uh, I'll hold the dash. Don't need that. Okay, heel hooks doing their thing. Um, we are being attacked now, so the wraith form seems reasonable. Um, who needs energy relics from bosses when you have outmaneuver? I think we can probably infinite this turn. So we need to get this out of the way. I guess we could calculate gamble. It also gets out of the way. We just need to get one card out of the way. Um, maybe? Yeah, because then we get the other backflip eventually. Oh wait, this is not infinite. This is, we've got too many cards. Darn, I think I messed, missed it up. Yeah, I think we were infinite this turn, but we needed to play Wraith Form uh, instead of backflip the first time. Okay. Not like it matters. It's infinite eventually. Didn't really matter one. This Abacus is actually slowing the combo down, because we have to wait for the, the thing to flash. It's already a pretty slow combo. 
Come on, you can do it. I like how we, we generate more block than damage. Six block per card, five damage per card. Alright, you guys can leave. You're dismissed. Or a Calcum. Seems very useful. Um, used to be picking Blade Dances. Um, yeah, it is, it's definitely helpful for the heart. I mean, we bought it. We bought it intentionally, so... I, I guess whenever you see an Abacus in the Relic Bar, you know that I bought it, because it's the only way to get them. Concentrate could remove cards, but... Yeah. It's a... It's a... Um, Kronger. Kronger can trade? That's hard to say. Upgrading Heal Hook doesn't do, like, dramatically more damage. It just does, like, slightly more damage. I probably will end up upgrading them eventually. Uh... Ever pick Caltrops? No. Infinite damage. Um, Troishka. It's a random relic later or a Sapphire Key now. Possibly two random relics. Although I would say that's unlikely. I'll just take a Sapphire Key. Um, it's possible that we have 125 gold by the time we get here. 15 is right in the middle of the range if one of these is a fight. How likely is one of those to be a fight? 30% for one, and then it'll be 40% for the next one. So the chance that we miss both is 0.7 times 0.6. Uh, 0.7 times 0.6 is 0.43, right? Wait. No, 42. So we're like 60-ish percent to get a fight if we do two question marks. And then we're approximately 50% chance to have enough gold to remove a card. Um, but we're guaranteed to have enough gold to remove a card if we do go here, right? Um, or we could just go to any Act 3 shop. Um, and remove a card there. I think we probably want to fight this guy anyway. Because relics... Stabby book. Uh, deck spot survivor box out here. Why would this deck not hunt elites? We're a little bit afraid of slavers. Um, because we could, we get wounded and then can't do stuff. Uh, we probably still are okay, but... Uh, 10,000 thread. What do you mean? Oh, your, uh, your bread box. Very nice. Exciting. Get in on that playtest. Um, do we discard a Shiv here? Because I kind of want to develop Caltrops, and I don't want to discard Wraith form. So I think I discard a Shiv. Oops. Almost played in the wrong order. Oh, I guess we can... Yeah, we can hold this Shiv for Good Night Proc next turn. Uh, Piercing Whale does not block out. Piercing Whale backflip does. Alright. Oh, Piercing Whale does block out. So I guess we save the backflip. Um. Oh, you know what? I was assuming that we... If we played Wraith Form, we would get wounded, because he would hit us, but I forgot about Orc Alchem. Orc Alchem hasn't really procced this run, because we just got it. So I forgot about it. I should have played Wraith Form earlier. I'll hold the shiv like before. Um, could play backflip. Uh, I guess it gives us a card. Okay. Triple ray form. I don't think we're blocking 24 without ray form. So, there's Wraith Form. Um, let's get rid of the Shiv and the Doppelganger. Um, or 
or holding on to Calculated Gamble for some reason. I guess Calculated Gamble is theoretically for wounds, just in case. Alright, we've got a turn off here, so let's get that outmaneuver going. And we want to do two more attacks. Don't have neutralize yet. Let's see if we can find the neutralize. Nope. Uh, now I'm not going to hold the shiv. Getting the decks isn't that important, and um, drawing cards is. So. Blocking my hand. Alright, we're getting close to the point where, uh... Or Calcum can't block out. We're also getting close to infiniting. If we just wraith, double wraith form this turn, I think we infinite next turn. Uh, yeah, that should be infinite. Okay. Heel hook is a weirdly, like, physical thing for us, a ghost to be doing. I feel kind of weird just, like, knocking down Book of Stabbing as a ghost. I don't know. I guess I shouldn't feel too weird about it. Um, you'll think it seems super unnecessary. Um, these cards are Kronger. Let's go. You haven't seen that Patrick Swayze movie. Is that the one where they're like, they're doing pottery? Is that what you're talking about? Um, Someone kicking your ass out of nowhere. Yeah, that's, I guess that's pretty spooky. Uh, Piercing Glass is terrible in the fight, so let's just get rid of it. Um, okay. It's called Ghost, and he learns... To hit cans as it goes, huh? <laughs> um, oh wait, this is this fight's a pain in the butt to to uh, infinite. Shoot. Man, I did not realize how good that Auric Alchem was. When I saw it, I was like, "That's useless." But it lets us just race for race for him to block, which is like very convenient. Let's get outmaneuver and caltrops out of the way. Um, yeah, I mean, orc alchem kind of wears off by the heart, but um, kind of. Yeah, confused why I didn't want to hunt the elites. I, so, sort of two reasons. The the thing that makes the deck strong is removing two more cards. Right, that's how we kill the heart. Is we need to we, we need to prioritize card removes over relics. Like relics don't actually make us that strong, and we're not to picking any cards. So, doing fights don't sort of implicitly metascale us like they normally do. Um, so our main way of getting strong is is um, is shops. Although you know elites give us money to go to shops, so. Uh, and the, the other reason is we were afraid of slavers. And we managed to dodge slavers uh, both times so far, so... Maybe we should just count our blessings and stop uh, not hunting that, that last elite. But slavers is, is kind of scary. Still not super scary, but... Um, I guess I'll just play a heal hook. Um, 
Get that last artifact charge. Now let's see, we have four cards going away. Just play the last Wraith form. Yeah, Nemesis is, is a is a problem. Um Yeah, also we have to do a Mega Elite in Act 3, so if it is Nemesis, we we could be in some trouble. But he can also just choose not to not to burn. So it's there's a good chance we get through the fight, but can't be scary. Him not to not to burn for like we need like a lot of setup turns, right? We need like four setup turns minimum. So it's pretty likely that he's gonna burn us. Uh nope. Man, we keep getting offered outmaneuvers. This is like our third card reward in a row that has an outmaneuver in it. Got some extra thumbs here in the market. How many are we talking? Are these like premium thumbs or are you trying to trying to rip me off? Um, I'm not, like, mega excited about going to a shop, but I do have to remove two cards over the course of the run. So we're, like, guaranteed to do one in Act 4. Um, might as well do one now. A motley crew of thumbs. All colors and sizes. Wow. Sounds like a great business opportunity. Do you have any, like, monkey thumbs? About, like... I don't know. This is a weird conversation. I don't know where this is going. <laughs> I guess they have to be from primates, huh? Because that's like a distinguishing feature of, of primates. <laughs> um, so if we go to the store, we're removing dagger throws next. Um... Back our Kickstarter. I like the idea that... So Kickstarter is for, like... It's for, like, kickstarting a business, right? So if you've got some, like, big capital investment you need to make, you get Kickstarter, and then you, like, buy your equipment or whatever, right? I like the idea that, like, selling human thumbs is something that has a big big capital cost. Where it's like, yeah, we have to, like, go get our, like, knives and our licenses and stuff for thumb hunting. A lot of setup costs here. <laughs> um, do we ever actually remove a wraith form? I'm because if if Nemesis burns us and we can't infinite, um, like can we kill him? Maybe we need to upgrade Calculate to Gamble. I guess burns don't stay in your hand, right? So it's not like we actually get checkmated by burns because they discard themselves. So probably no on removing wraith form. All right, I think we've got a plan. Let's let's do this. Um, yep, don't need these well laid plans with the pyramid. Hmm. Okay. Centurion Mystic. Immediate spooky ghost. Okay. Uh, we probably don't need Piercing Whale, so we can just play it. Get rid of it. Or I guess we could play Caltrops, too. Caltrops does damage. Anyone go for the Shard Infinite? Well, there's like a million different Shard Infinites. Which one are you talking about? Um, let's get this outmaneuver up. And clear out some hand room.
I think I have done a, a Prismatic Shard Infinite. Um, it, I don't recall what it was. Wait, is this too many cards? No, this is fine. Um... We need to play Calculate the Gamble to Infinite next turn. So we can neutralize on Mystic, and then we can Infinite both. Hooray! Oof, this takes a long time. Come on. Press 9. Maybe this is what I need those extra thumbs for. I have a thumb just dedicated to pressing 9. I'm a very slow typer, despite the fact that I'm like a professional software engineer who's supposed to have this shit together. I basically like... I don't know. I guess I've developed better, better typing form over the years, but like... Um, I don't know. I kind of rejected all the... All the times people tried to train me to do it in school, I was just like, nah, I'll just, like, play video games. Okay. Does Donnie Decker need more ways to strip artifacts? Yeah, I suppose so. Be helpful. There's one. Um. Uh, is that actually necessary, though? I feel like we have plenty of time with just, like, nine ray forms. Yeah, see, they tried to make me do Mavis Beacon, and I just, like, just refused to, to do the thing that they were trying to get me to do, and I was just like, no, I'm gonna punch individual keys, and then go play Oregon Trail. I don't know why I refused to, to learn to type. Um, I also didn't, I had terrible handwriting, so I, I guess all of the, we're gonna teach you how to communicate lessons I refused. I think I was kind of a bad student. Uh, I don't know. Seems like malaise is probably not necessary here. That just gets in the way. <laughs> Cannot name one thing more infuriating. Says an extent elderly colleague. Yeah. <laughs> Most of my, like, I feel like typing tutorials don't don't teach you the right skills for programming either. You need, like, you need, like, control and, like, space and, like, semicolon a bunch. And those are on, like, really random fingers. Don't make any sense. That's good. Uh, question mark or fight. Ancient writings or remove. Augmenter. I think, actually, we're out of targets for augmenter. Yeah, in order for Augmenter to be a remove, we'd have to give it, like, Survivor and Backflip. Which I guess we could do. Um, makes the Kunai feel a little bit silly. But, like, we have three Wraithform Blesses. Uh, do we really need Kunai? Also, we still have Dash. If we do that. We can't get rid of the Backflip, because then we can't outmaneuver Backflip scale. Or... Er, yeah, that's scaling, right? Exponential. Um, wow, well, look at you, Targaryen Tantrum. Just nailing it. Just doing everything great. Well, I have always been a lazy worker, <laughs> no matter what I do. <laughs> so, there you go. That's the difference between us. Um, I mean, fights don't really get us anything either, right? So the bar is pretty low for how good question marks have to be. And some of them are kind of good. I mean, Ghosts is really good, right? Actually, do we even want that? Do we want to have 12 intangible in the deck? Just makes us slower. Yeah, I guess we're no on Ghosts. The max HP is valuable. It's kind of surprising. Uh, Tome is no, Altar is bad, Bandits are good, 
That helps us strip artifacts. Alright, yeah, let's do it. Let's look for bandits. Alright, let's fight anyway. Um... Uh, I guess I'll just play Wraith Form. <laughs> Alright. Neutralizing a couple of heel hooks with, like, a word with you. Um... I kind of just want to, like, Caltrop Scalculated Gamble. And then, uh, like, Outmaneuver. Doppelganger. I guess we need to get rid of Piercing Whale, too. So we'll do that. We might actually not draw Outmaneuver here, but that's okay. Alright. This is a tough deck to go fast with. Might be able to get lethal this turn. Um, let's see. Backflip draws us to ten. Yeah, and we can redraw backflip. I'm going to use the backflip to re redraw the neutralize. Okay, sweet. Kind of complicated to get all the neutralizes down, but... Okay, so it's turn three. We basically went as fast as we could go in this fight. We just, like, blitzed our way through our energy. And turn three was as fast as we could go. So that's the that's the plan against Nemesis is try to not get burned for the first three turns. Okay. Um, nope. Cards are stronger. Uh, we could actually recall here. Um, I guess if we upgrade Doppelganger, we can go a little bit faster. Um, not sure if it actually helps, but it might. It seems like often we're playing Doppelganger for zero with a full hand, right? I think it's the only helpful upgrade. Heal hooks do slightly more damage, which I guess is useful against Time Eater. Um, but we should be just dominating Time Eater, even if we're only doing 5 damage at a time. We generate so much block. Let's see, how much damage? We do 60 damage a turn with uh, 12 heal hooks, so we block for 120. I don't think he's ever getting through 120. Um, let's see, so he's got like 420 health-ish. Uh, or no, he's got 480. So if we do 60 damage a turn, it takes us, um, gosh, what's 48 divided by 6? It's 8, right? So it takes us 8 cycles to get through him, ish. So by 8 cycles, he's got 16 strength. Um, 16 times, or 16 plus 8 times 3 is his max damage. So he'd have 24, it's like 100, like 70 damage. So yeah, he, he, he dies to just heal hooks. <laughs> Heal hook uh, Abacus is good enough for that fight. So don't need to worry about that. Um, uh, we don't need to worry about the heart, because heal hooks are block positive, and we've got a million wraith forms. Yeah, it's really just Nemesis that we care about. I guess we still need the card remove uh, for the heart and for um, um, Spire Elites, but... Um... So I, I don't know. I guess I'll recall. I don't know. No, I'll submit the the doppel. It might. It's there's possible. <laughs> excuse me. It's possible it makes it go a turn faster. Going a turn faster is how we killed Nemesis, right? Actually, like energy pot, I think would be the best potion right now. 
We just want like four energy pots so that we can turn one. Nemesis go. Um, we don't want to skip the neutralize, but then I think we just calculate gamble. Try to draw like another wraith form or something. Something to spend energy on. You guys can have those cards, which makes it easier. Uh, back foot, try to get the neutralize. Sweet. Uh, we just want to draw neutralize next turn. It is the only thing that matters. So we can clear out some space by getting rid of these. Alright, so now we just have to redraw neutralize next turn, and we win. Which we already do automatically. We can just press end turn. Okay. GG. Man, turn five, but we had to burn through like a whole bunch of uh, of artifact charges too. Turn five, but he has three artifact charges. That's fast. Oof! Takes a while though. <laughs> Come on. Just... What, 30 more? <laughs> yeah, sure could would be nice. <laughs> it is, yeah, we, I mean, turn 5 is, is comparatively slow, right? You want to do, like, turn 1 or turn 2. And also, the this one takes a lot of cards to play. Yeah, Tink should be infinite super fun. Especially if there's like a calculated gamble in it. <laughs> you don't want to be doing a Tink should infinite if it's just uh, like prepared reflex. <laughs> that would be really painful. Right, just two more. All right. Uh, Thousand cuts would speed up the combo a little bit. Actually, does it slow it down? I feel like Thousand Cuts makes, uh, um, almost makes it take longer because of the animation. Um, I guess Grand Finale is a plan against, um, um, Nemesis? Hmm. Does that work? Uh, because all we care about is Nemesis, right? Um, so he puts a bunch of... I mean, we're, we're playing a Pyramid deck, so, like, Grand Finale is kind of always an option. Um, and it makes us, our damage go up by a lot. Can we afford to add a card? Uh, so we have 17 cards minus 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven. So we have a ten card deck. We still need two card removes. Is that true? Seventeen minus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so we really cannot afford that card here. Um, we are like might not even get there. With 140 gold, we need two more card removes. Oh, that was that not count the Caltrops? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, all right. So, we only need one more card to move, so we're not, like, in an emergency. Um, but I still don't think we can afford to add a grand finale here. 
because um, then we'd need to remove two cards, and removing two cards costs um, 150 plus 175, that's 325. We don't really have that kind of gold. We might buy, buy Act 3, we might be able to afford that, or buy Act 4. Um, but it's not like super obvious that we do. Yeah, I think I'm going to skip it. I think we'll probably be fine. Um, we scale pretty hard. We've got Wraith Forms. Um, yeah, Bonfire Spirits would be okay. I don't know what we would give them. I'd probably just give them a Blade Dance. Uh, I think Blade Dance are the next removes. Oh, wow. If we're worried about card removes, Empty Cage can, can solve that problem. Look at his split. Um... um I mean, that makes us go way faster, right? The, the more cards we remove, the faster we go, the more likely we are to um, kill Nemesis on two, right? Um, yeah, sure. I don't think we need the energy particularly. I guess energy helps us play Wraith Forms more. Um, are we moving two Blade Dances or like Blade Dance Dash? I kind of like Blade Dance Dash so I can still get Dex if I want it. Um, and then we still have got Survivor and Backflip. Those are the payoffs. I think it's going to be at least one Blade Dance. Um. Dash has been pretty hard to play recently. Doesn't feel like it pays off much. Blade Dance does, does more damage per energy. But I like a lot. Alright, Donu Deca first, so might not have to fight Time Eater. We have to go left to get to this Mega Elite, so no thinking here. Start with the Wraith Form. Um, I guess play another Wraith Form here. Yeah, we are infinite. And I'll just play a Doppelganger for zero. It gives us an energy next turn. Doesn't draw a card, though. Yeah, we're infinite, but we're worried about Nemesis. There's no obvious solution to Nemesis in this deck. Which is uh, pretty bad. Turn three there. Yeah, it's too slow for Nemesis, right? He's gonna get us. I can feel it. Because he can burn on one. <laughs> I would hate to spend all this energy thinking about Nemesis and then get there and he just like burns us and kills us. <laughs> Uh, we're pretty good at blocking 45 damage attacks, though. Being intangible is pretty nice. We should just be able to force our way through the fight. Nope. These don't help. Two spikers. Um, did we never come up with a spiker solution? Is it just, like, caltrops? Doesn't seem very safe.
hold the neutralize. Uh, we need to line up three attack uh, turns to get kunai value. Yeah, oh, that's true. Abacus does, does solve it. Yeah, yeah, good point. I was sure we had a solution. I just, like, forgot what it was. <laughs> it's like, what's the... How do we do this? Uh, I've got three cards in hand, so Doppelganger draws a full hand. Get rid of this repulsor because the dazes are getting them away. I wonder how much total spike damage the apparitions are blocking this fight. Seems like it's a lot. We hit the other guy 10 times, so he would have hit us for like 111. And then this guy's hitting us for... Um, uh, like 90, so like 200 damage. I guess we still took some of it though, so it didn't block for the full 200. Um... These cards are bad. Uh, is Block Pot better than any of these? Um, what does like Forge Pot do? Pretty much nothing. Speeds up the heel hook thing a little bit. Uh, two question marks or one question mark? Uh, question marks could be Falling, which is guaranteed to hit Wraith Form, and could hit uh, Heel Hook, so we'd always have to do. The skill. Pretty sure all skills are expendable, right? Outmaneuver, calculated gamble, backflip, piercing whale, survivor. Yeah, they're all expendable. Blade dance. Blade dance would be great. So falling's fine. Uh, Mind bloom uh, is probably a rare relic. Uh, we're already at full health, and upgrading doesn't really do anything, so we'd get a rare relic. Maybe a gambling chip, speed us up a turn. Sphere is pretty free. Uh, oh wait, no, Sphere's scary. We don't fight Sphere, um, because burns are bad. Um, so we, we leave on Sphere. Uh, Sensory Stone is fine. Not super exciting. Uh, wait, does Sensory Stone ever help us solve, um, Nemesis? Do, maybe we should buy and take a Nemesis, take a setup. Because if we can set up a Wraith form and then draw it and play it, that might make us go faster? Hmm. I don't think that's true. I guess, like, Master of Strategies would make, uh, make us go faster. Purity... Uh... Purity would have to hit, like, at least three burns to actually help against Nemesis. I guess it could help, yeah. We would take it if we saw it, for sure. I'm not sure if it actually helps them. Uh, Red Mask is... not particularly useful. It's kind of good for Donu Deca, but otherwise irrelevant. Uh, Winding Halls is terrible. Actually... Hmm... What does this deck do with Madnesses? Makes Wraith Forms cheaper. Could make the heel hook thing energy positive. I mean, it, there's also a secret technique. And, um... I guess secret weapon works too. Yeah. It's not, not like, super important. Why is there no secret power card? So, I don't know. I think question marks are probably better than fights, but not by much. Alright. Uh, this hand's terrible. 
think we're just gambling here. <laughs> Getting all of our Wraith Orbs. Okay. Uh, we can literally just win this fight by pressing Wraith Form and turn. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. Uh, we do not need to play Heal Hook 10,000 times here. Okay. Uh, terror makes us go a little faster. Um. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty easy transient fight. <laughs> Wraith form is pretty good at that one. Um. Yeah, I don't think we're too afraid of time eater. Um. And terror only gives us two extra damage per card. Um, just not much. Um, yeah, I don't think any of these help against Nemesis specifically. Maybe Blur actually helps against Nemesis. Um, but adding cards to the deck is pretty stronger. Um, are we going to be shop this act? We could go to this one, that's the only one we're, we're eligible for. Makes us skip a fire. So I think we're probably just... Only going to the Act 4 shop after this. So we don't have the room to add a card. A permanent card. So I'll just skip. I don't think Terror is worth, worth picking. It's not bad, though. I don't know. Maybe we should pick it. Helps remove artifact charges in Donudeka, too. Yeah, and the Spire Elites. We have to remove a lot of artifact charges in Spire Elites. If Spire Elites make it to turn, like, what is it? five we do we we can't combo them right because we've only got two spots in the deck for or in the hand for um for statuses so if they burn we get two rounds of burns we do lose or you know we can't infinite I think we're probably faster than that by the time we get there but terror does improve that fight slightly all right fine okay plus two cards seems bad Upgrade all cards doesn't really do much, so I will fight an Act 1 boss. Hexaghost. Should be a pretty easy fight. I guess he also donates burns, huh? Um, so we need to kill him before he does that. Um... So we need to, like, Play out maneuver here. I think we combo next turn. Uh, yep. If you lose four strength, that's, that's a good point. Four strength is... That's a lot of strength to lose. That on average would take him eight rounds. And by then we've got too many burns to care about that, right? We do have two uh, spots, so we could just play like Wraithform Calculated Gamble and let him burn us, but I don't, there's no reason to, right? Wait, we've got three spots in hand. So we don't need to remove another card? Because we've got Wraith Form, Calculated Gamble, and Caltrops all... And Piercing Whale. Well. Huh? Why do I... Why do I think I need to remove cards? So 16 cards, we remove 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're a seven card deck, and we could combo as an 11 card deck. So yeah, we have four cards hand room. So we can actually almost, if we remove one card, we could, we could, if this question mark removes a card, we could survive a, uh, a round of burns. We could have five slots, because it's five burns, right?
Yeah, yeah, we got a lot of space now. That's true. I'm not planning on upgrading Gamble. I don't know why I would. Okay. Uh, Prayer Wheel's pretty useless. Because we don't take cards. Speaking of not taking cards, these are all adding cards to the deck. We don't need to do that. Uh, the stats on Abacus are whack. Yeah, I imagine they would be. <laughs> 20 block per turn. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Abacus is triggering half the time. Did you win yesterday? Yes, we did. Um, Ancient Pot doesn't improve our... Uh, Nemesis Fight. Um... Although, Skill Pot is probably never getting played, right? Skill Pot potentially adds a card to the deck. I guess it's not... Adding a card to the deck is not uh, an absolute disaster, right? If it makes this combo turn faster, it's worth it. It's better than the Ancient Pump. Oop, falling, so we are removing a card. Okay, so if we remove this Blade Dance, we can actually survive if he burns on one and we don't combo, which is sick. Um, does Smith do anything? Uh, nope. These are just damage. This doesn't do anything. This is just block. We don't need that. Calthrops doesn't do anything. Backflip doesn't draw extra cards. And Calculated Gamma gets worse. So I'll take a recall now. Alright, it's not even Nemesis. Although we can't dodge the second elite, so we could get Nemesis again. Or get Nemesis anyway, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna play Outmaneuver over Wraith Form. You just play Wraith. Or, well, I guess if we play. Uh, if we don't play Outmaneuver this turn, we're not being energy efficient. So, whatever. There's no reason to play this. We can get a Slowproc next turn with it. I'm certain that doesn't matter, but I'll do it anyway. Uh, now we can play the Outmaneuver. Yeah, not, not a very long Relic Bar. We kind of dodged Elites in Act 2 and in Act 3, because um, we don't need them. This is a card-powered run. Sure. Whatever. Yeah, if we get Wing Boots, we are going to skip this Elite, for sure. We'd, like, we'd go, uh... Here, I guess, is the only floor that doesn't have a, an elite. Um, this is infinite. Which actually, thankfully, won't take very long against Giant Head, because we'll scale with his, uh, his slow procs. How much dex will we have when this is done? I think we'll have... Five decks. Ooh, I'm way too low, huh? Trat. <laughs> Is it 11? I don't think it's 11. Be them. Yeah, they're, they're starting to scale up. They're doing 20 damage a hit. It's like maybe 9. Smiling Mask. Floor 41 Smiling Mask. Very useful. Thank you. Uh, game Plus. Nope. Prepared. Nope. Terror. No. It was nine. I mean, I think the the we played the card that would have gotten us the the kunai proc, but I don't think it counts if it's lethal. Um, you're underestimating your powers, or is your power too low to get dex? I don't know what you mean. But I think it, it doesn't proc, right? It, it was actually nine, right? We played the card to get the tenth dex, but it didn't it didn't go up. So nine was the answer, I think. I guess it's debatable. Um, it seems like we should take a bonus fire, but I'm not sure what we're doing with it. Extra shop is somewhat something. We do have, like, several shop relics. Meal ticket, smiling mask. 
Uh, I'm not even sure, like, there are two cards to remove, though. It's like... We'd start removing, like, Caltrops or something. Caltrops or Piercing Whales are the last things to remove. Um, or, like, Doppelganger. I guess Survivor could get removed. Backflip actually feels pretty necessary. I didn't realize it when I... Um, earlier on, but we actually need the backflip to get the heel hook thing started sometimes. Or to, like, get neutralize on additional targets. Um, I don't think we need any card removes for the, the boss fight, so I'll just save the money for Act 4. Uh, I guess I'm forced to upgrade, like, like a heel hook or backflip survivor here. Uh, it feels weird to have one upgraded heel hook and one unupgraded heel hook. So I think I'm going to avoid that. I guess we can get both, though. Um, actually, Piercing Whale Plus is pretty reasonable. Um, especially since we could fight Time Eater. Having a Piercing Whale Plus to reset his strength down makes some sense. Yeah, let's do that. Because he's going to have plenty of strength. <laughs> Eternal Feather. Alright, so we dodged Nemesis. Sweet. Uh, this fight's actually kind of scary, too. Um, because of the wounds. Um, can we skill pot into killing those daggers? I think we can. So we've got four space. We got. Do we have four or five spaces in the deck? I think we have four spaces. Let's see. Let's count it out. So fifteen card deck minus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we've got six card deck. It's an eleven card combo. Uh, or eleven cards is what's allowed. So we've got five spaces. Um, so if these daggers wound us, it's not the end of the world. We can deal with that. But if we start getting a lot of wounds, we're in trouble. Okay, but no panic yet. Alright, so they... When they suicide, they do not wound you. So these guys are not wounding, it's just these two. These two are actually the more threatening too, even though these two are exploding. Um, so let's see if we can kill one of these two. I should have terrored, duh. Okay, so we did get one dead. And another Wraith Form down. Okay, so our current wound count is three. And no more wounds are coming in currently. So let's clear some room out. And then we should be able to combo next turn. Okay. Little scary. But she can't summon on two, right? I, I guess if you kill all of the daggers, she can summon on two. So it's pretty unlikely she was going to give us so many wounds we couldn't deal. Doing the silly 
heel hook thing. Counting up my armor. Five, four, three, two, one, dead. All right. Um, I think we've removed all the shivs from the deck. Is that true? Yeah, we have no blade dances left. So accuracy is now sad. Uh, Corpse Explosion would give us a slightly faster uh, Donu Deca fight and a slightly faster uh, Spire Elite fight. But it adds card to the deck, and that's kind of bad. Adrenaline makes us combo faster, and that seems pretty good. Um, we've been a three energy deck the entire game, so getting a fourth energy is actually a pretty big deal. We can adrenaline into like Wraith Form Outmaneuver. It's kind of a curse against Time Eater, but I don't think we're too worried about Time Eater here. Okay. Darklings again. We've already done this fight. Okay, should be able to combo next turn. Okay. Now they're all weak. Just heal hooking up a storm here. Almost done with the fight. Almost done with the act. Darklings, great. Ooh, a regen pot. I guess we're at full health and we have full potions, so I, I shouldn't say ooh like I'm gonna pick it. Um, uh, do we ever pick deflect? Pick a third heal hook. Um, so we do still have a kunai, um, but we've really only been playing paying that off with backflip. Even survivor hasn't been getting played. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't seem like we need to add a card to the deck. It does say plus on it, though. It's kind of nice. Caltrop makes the heart fight take less time. That is true. Yeah, if this is a speed run, I think technically we would pick Caltrops here. Although I think we're just focused on win percent. Um, so I'm going to skip it. Yeah, I don't think we need to deflect. Uh, I could take a second Piercing Whale if we we're really concerned about time meter scaling. Piercing Whale also pretty effective in Donideka for peeling off those first artifact charges. Um, also works pretty well in uh, Spire Elites. Uh, I mean, this helps in like almost every fight for the rest of the game, right? It helps in Donideka, it helps in Time Eater, uh, it helps in Awakened One, helps in. Uh, Spire Elites. Even helps against the heart. I guess I'll take it. Piercing Whale is such an insane card. Uh, we have a Eternal Feather and a Toy Ornithopter being offered a regen pot. Um, it seems like any fight we take damage in is a fight that we're, like, losing. Uh, I would sort of anticipate never taking damage again in the run. Uh, I guess we might take damage on turn one of the heart fight, but... Come on. <laughs> um, I don't think we need a skill pot, though, so I guess I'll take it. Does this count as taking damage in the run? 
I guess, yeah, we have to take damage here, right? I'm not taking a rive. All right. I'm going to not count that as taking damage in the run. This is also taking damage in the run. I love it. The deck's like, oh, yeah? You want to never take damage? What about this damage? Um, this lets us use the regen bot. So we can do this and then regen pot back to full. With a 50% potion chance, I think, sure. Um, not a ton of cards we're looking for. We talked about this already. It's just like master strategy and... Um, stuff, but still worth looking for. Uh, Finesse can technically be part of the infinite. Uh, I don't know why we would do that. Madness could make us go faster, but... Seems like a waste of time. Uh... Violence says draw three cards. Um, neutralize and both uh, both heal hooks are the only attacks. So violence, violence can whiff. But it's likely to draw one card. And it can draw two. So probably picking violence. Um, Forethought can hit Wraith form, which is kind of okay. Um... Pretty weak. Um, I think we're gonna skip this fourth up. I don't think we need to speed that part of the deck up. I think we'll probably take the violence and skip here. Yeah. All right. So we got a little bit of card draw. It's worth the ten health. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and drink this just in case they give us a potion. Uh, these guys are already dead, because we have Wraith Form until they're dead. Okay. Of course, the first time we see violence, it totally whiffs. I guess actually we can shuffle and then make it not whiff. Yeah, okay. Oops, that's uh, overdraws. Whatever, I'll just get it out of the deck. Oh, we actually have infinite now. <laughs> uh, sure. Oh, no, we don't. We ran out of energy, right? All right, well, I'll just set up for that. Kaboom! Okay, do they have a potion? They do not. These are cards. Cards are stronger. Uh, these are cards as well. Oops, maybe try to should have started to set up Happy Flower. I uh, kind of forgot about that. Um, there's not four attacks in the deck, so that does nothing. Uh, Adrenaline Plus makes sense. Get two energy. Helps us play more cards. Um, sure. All right, Doni Decca. Um... Violence draws one card here. Um, deck is worse because we care about dazes. I'm, I guess I'm just happy with drawing one card. Uh, outmaneuver, reform. 
uh, helps us get cards out of the deck. Uh, I guess I'll Doppelganger for zero as well. Now I'm overdrawing, so I'll use Calculated Gamble because we don't need it in the fight. Um, I want to keep their uh, artifact charges roughly equal because we have uh, two Piercing Whales. One of which is this card, so I'll go draw it. I guess Caldrop does damage, which Piercing Whale does not do. Okay. Uh, double Piercing Whale, Wraith Form should combo next turn. Toss in and out maneuver for fun. Okay. Hey, OJB. Yeah, this is uh, working out well. Ooh, someone wants to see Coconut. Let me go find her. Here's Coconut. I found her. We had to do like an extraction operation. She was napping on a heat pad in my wife's office and my wife was on a phone call. But I stealthily snuck in there and grabbed her. And we got her out safely. Yes, good kitty. Coconut's still sleepy. She's like, why'd you wake me up? I don't know why, Coconut. Only someone 25 knows why. Okay. Time to get on board the Heel Hook Express. Choo choo. Let's go. I've only got 500 health to burn through here. Should be really quick. Only have to play heel hook like a hundred times in this fight. No big deal. So we're like 20 heel hooks down. 20% of the way there. Hey Miranda. Um, yeah, is this is this fast? I guess it's kind of fast. Uh, so my uptime says two and a half hours. Still got to do Act Four, but. Yes, yeah, no no hand shuffling here. Just press number seven. Also only like one card, right? It's a, it's, it's a one card loop. So, very simple one. We've had lots of really complicated ones recently. Where it's like doing something to get the energy back and then doing something with the energy and plasma dual cast, meteor strike stuff. And this one's just like, nope, heal hook go burr. <laughs> yeah, originally we were planning on being a, a deck, a kunai deck. Uh, we had like two blade dances, and we thought that was going to be 
be a real thing. But no. The blade dances are gone. The dream is dead. It's a heel hook deck now. The tyranny of the heel hook continues. Strongest card in Slay the Spare. Ignore those wraith forms, they don't matter. <laughs> We'd be winning just with the heel hook. Who needs wraith form? Are we gonna get to all nines block? Looks like not. We're just I guess we're gonna get over five hundred because they have five hundred health. <laughs> yeah, that, Abacus has been pulling some weight, just a little bit. If you were going to nerf heal hook, what would you change it to? If it did any less damage, it would just be even more annoying. <laughs> you imagine if heal hook did one damage? It'd still be <laughs> it'd still be basically just as good. <laughs> it'd be the same card, just be five times more annoying. I guess you'd be worse against Time Eater. Speaking of Time Eater, we've got our Happy Flower set up here, so this is the right turn to go. If it costs 3 energy and gave you back 3 energy, and did like 30 damage, I think that'd be pretty fun. 5 energy go the way of the, uh, uh, of the Meteor Strike. That's right, five times more decks. Okay, so we dodged Time Eater, so we don't have to worry about that fight. And our Happy Flower setup gave us a uh, an extra outmaneuver on turn one. Yeah, it's true. Heel Hook Dropkick is like... And? What are the other ones? Nope, we're done. Uh, violence draws some cards. Terror gets out of the way. Um, Wraith form gets out of the way. I guess we can draw with neutralize and heal hook. Um, guess we can get this out of the way to Doppel for one and play a calculated gamble. Um, I kind of want to play the the piercing whales when we are when we're splitting them. Um, doesn't doesn't actually matter, but it makes me happy. I guess he's only getting eight strength because we're comboing next turn, so this one's extra. Okay. So I guess I'll piercing whale here to get him down to zero strength. It's important that we do that, otherwise he could hit us in second phase. You never know. Uh, I was wondering how you did infinite. You just have that many exhaust slash power cards in your deck? Yeah, so we started with uh, Pandora's box, so we don't have any like strikes or defends. And so we just, like, didn't add very many cards and removed some. And so we can get down to uh, a deck size that fits in our hand, and then Runic Pyramid ensures that we're going to draw the whole, whole deck at some point. And there you go. Hey, Bishop Stars. How's it going? Absence of real cards makes the deck grow kronger. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> the extra wraith form. You know. It's it's there to keep our decks under control. <laughs> hey Demigod, uh, Demigod uh, KV. Uh, we're currently beating the Awakened One with an infinite that's very slow. <laughs> that's what you're looking at. <laughs> Takes some time. It's a lot of clicking and a lot of pressing the number seven. Yeah, we can leave the birds alive here. Don't need to worry about them. Um, 
Okay. Do we want to leave the number on 7? I guess it's going to be on 6 anyway, because the Sender's Bane's going away. So we might as well just move it even further. I don't know. There's no justification to do anything at this point. Okay. All right, and now we're five. Press five to win. Art imitates life. <laughs> okay. Awakened one. Just gotta press five, 25 more times, and then we'll get on to act four. <laughs> Is it 25? No, no, it's... How many is it? Yeah, because it's 20, 21 more now. Yeah. Silent has grabbed Awakened One's leg and refuses to let go. Well, complicating issues is that I'm currently a ghost. So we're, uh, we're like a martial arts ghost for some reason. Yeah, how do you heal Hook Awaken One? It's like, you can hook his heal, but then he's just going to continue standing, because he's got four legs. It's unclear how this works. Thanks for the follow. Uh, uh, Ari... Ariadne? Ariadne? Seems like an elvish name. Ar Ariadne. Uh, if you hook it 64 times, you get him? What do you mean? Uh, thanks for the follow, Demigod KV. Appreciate the support. Welcome to the Vegetable Patch. Sorry, I meant to welcome, uh, Ariadne to the Vegetable Patch as well, but I got distracted by the name. Alright, ten more. Almost there. Yeah, I think we were set up for, uh, um... We were set up for a time eater too, because we have so much block from the Abacus. I think we would have been fine. Uh, I mean, the, the run's not not completely over. We could theoretically uh, have problems against um, Spire Elites, because they generate burns. But we, as long as we're able to kill them before turn 4, when they generate their second round of burns. Or I guess it can be turn 4 or 5, because it's random. Yeah, we should be fine. But yeah, it's definitely block positive against the heart. Uh, we have to smith something. Um, backflip? Uh, backflip gets played a lot. I guess heal hook is a quality of life upgrade. Violence actually doesn't do anything. There's only three attacks in the deck, so upgrading violence is, is uh, just nothing. Yeah, he like, makes some sense, I guess. Um, I feel like backflip probably doesn't make any impact on win rate, but maybe could. And so I feel obligated to pick the, the card that can matter versus one that is just purely for quality of life. Um, cult pot makes us faster. Lizard tail <laughs> seems completely unnecessary, but I guess we'll pick it. <laughs> um, <laughs> sure. Um, we could card remove, um, not too many cards left to remove, pretty much just Survivor at this point, it's the only permanent card still in the way. Um, I believe we currently have enough room to combo on turn two against the heart, I think we can hold all of the statuses. So the marginal value of additional card removes is just that we get to combo slightly faster, maybe. Um... Is that better than Lizard Tail? Um, Outmaneuver is actually pretty useful. Yeah, uh, Outmaneuver helps us play the the Wraith forms because it's a three energy deck, um, so it can be a bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, I should have set up the Happy Flower. That was a mistake. Um, so I guess the if we're trying to perfect the fight, Anchors is pretty useful for Heart. So we could do like Anchor Cult Pot Card Remove. Uh, that makes sense, sure. 
Uh, so it's either Anchor, Cult Pot, Card Remove, or Lizard Tail. I think Lizard Tail is probably the, the win rate optimizing pick here. Um, very difficult to imagine eating the Lizard, or using the Lizard Tail, um, but I guess theoretically it's possible. Is it? I'm not sure there's a, there's a world where we can lose this. Um, yeah, it seems like there's no way to... Yeah, that's true. Is it, it, sorry, is Anchor the score optimizing pick? Why? Uh, yeah, because it's perfect on the heart, yeah. Uh, yeah. Are we score optimizing? I guess we're score optimizing. Um, also, I mean, I guess removing removing Survivor is actually pretty reasonable. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's. I'm sure that I said that, and it's not true for this deck, unfortunately. <laughs> it's. We, we, I, I don't think we can lose. Um, uh, no. Oh, uh, does Beat of the Death ignore perfect? I think it's. I think it doesn't. Um, I think Beat of the Death counts as damage that your enemy did to you. Um, which doesn't really make sense to me, but, um, I honestly don't pay very much attention to scoring, so I, I probably, I could be very wrong about that. Uh, does Runic Pyramid and Abacus make this build possible? Um, we could have done it without, um, Pyramid. Uh, we could have done it without Abacus, too. Um, we don't really need any of the relics. Um, if we didn't have Abacus, we would need a better block solution. Um, but we also have Kunai, so one of these two, I guess, is required. Um, okay. And it's Survivor, right? Survivor, um, can't do neutralize. These remove themselves. I'll maneuver, I think, is better than Survivor. Uh, no, Bishop Stars, the, the code does not check your health in, at the certain end of the fight. Um, it's, uh, yeah, because you, if, you, like, if you're playing Ironclad and you, like, hurt yourself, um, you could still perfect. Um, yeah, right. Yeah, self-damage doesn't count is the, I think, most important mechanic for the perfect score thing. Okay. It's pretty nice to have three Wraith Forms. I appreciate you, Wraith Forms. Let's see what you've done. We actually have to block this turn. Or Calcum's not enough. So we have seven damage coming in. So I guess, uh... Backflips the block card. Um, I actually want to hold the Neutralize... Hmm. Because I want, like, double piercing whale to hit. But I have a terror, too. Uh, I'm going to tear Spire Spear, because we have to kill him before the second round of burns. That's our limiting factor here. And then I guess uh, outmaneuver Caltrops. Okay. Um, so Piercing Whale removes the last artifact charges. Um, and then we can neutralize double heal hook. And we can't draw one card, but we can draw two. And luckily we didn't get either of the attacks, so we can get violence for all three attacks. Sweet. Um, is this the burn attack again? It is, yeah. So it's turn three he can do that the second time? I guess they're on a three turn, uh, three turn cycle, yeah. Seems fast. But I think we can combo him this turn. Uh, we have to get rid of one card, so we can play Wraith Form. And then heal hooks for days. Okay. All right, got that Spire Spear dead. I guess we can do both this turn, because we can uh, Piercing Whale, Neutralize, Backflip, and still have energy. 
Oh yeah, we did get minus one strength. <laughs> so this takes extra long. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Clearing out hand room by playing Wraith form. In 2021. We could have done Calculated Gamble too, that would have worked fine. Oof, gosh. <laughs> Come on, Helix. Jesus Christ. Just 11 more. Just keep doing those heel hooks. We'll get there. Will you be doing another run after this? I will not. No, I, I'm, uh, I usually do from uh, 8 to 11 Pacific. It's currently 11, 12 Pacific, so we're approximately on time. A little bit late for our, our heart kill here. Oops, shit. That was not the right way to do that. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter too much. But we almost broke there. Uh, yeah, exactly. How do you heel hook these guys? They're attached to the ground. <laughs> they, like, grow here. Yeah, it's true. Almost all of the... I, I almost never finish a complete run in the in the time allotted. I almost, I'm almost always over... Um... When I, when I win. In uh, in months that where we don't do Pandora's Box and don't have so many wins, sometimes I'll end a little bit early. Um, just because I usually go over. I have a playtest after this too, so I can't, can't be totally out of gas by the time the stream's over. Show bread. Sure. I should make a show bread command because people say that occasionally. Um, oh yeah, set up flower. Um... Yeah, this is safe, right? He can't hurt us. Okay. Uh, let's get some outmaneuvers in then. Oh, I guess just one. Okay. All right. Good thing we don't have to chunk through the 99. Oh no, he's going to de-stat me. Oh god, it's going to take so long. Well, I guess we got him down to 18, so not that long. Um... Yeah, info mode. Uh, one, two damage. Seems fine. Okay. Happy Flower set up. Let's go. Okay. Incense burner. Totally useless, because it's, uh, it's set up on, on the wrong number, right? It's... Let's see. I mean, the fight's going to be over before this triggers. I guess it, it's never on the wrong number because we have nine wraith form, right? So it literally can't be on the wrong number. It's on the worst number. But there's no wrong number. Uh, nope, don't need these. Uh, dex pot versus block pot. I think we'll keep the block pot. Uh, been holding these gambling brew things for forever. Oh, sorry. Uh, someone, can you put that in, uh, in the Discord? And I'll, I'll reshare it there. Um, was he asking for a link to info mod? Um. All right. Spooky ghost time. One last fight of spooky ghost. Uh, we could theoretically hold off on the cult pot to heal with ornithopter, but I don't think that's going to be necessary. Piercing well, coming up at the perfect turn. Um, yeah, OJB was here earlier. He's the author. Um, yeah, achievements are fun. Um, climbing ascensions. I don't know if you just finished your first clear with all four classes, going up the ascensions. Good next step. Um, you can do the ascensions and heart kills in either order. You don't have to, uh... You can climb all the way to ascension 20 before you start doing heart kills, or you can... Start doing heart kills immediately. Yeah, see? OJB, he's the... 
He's the person who made Infomon. Ooh, someone 25 is in the playtest. A lot of playtest adjacent activity today. Um, Blem got a playtest reward earlier. Um, Coconut wants a playtest. Well, she can't have one. They're not for cats. Um, okay, so if we want to perfect the fight, we have to, like, block pop Piercing Whale this turn. Um... So... I don't know. Uh... That doesn't really seem like a good idea. I mean, Piercing Whale obviously is fine, but we don't... Like, using the block bot here just seems really unnecessary. Um, we can doppel for two. We don't really have hand room for that. I guess we can doppel for two and then calculated gamble. So that draws four cards, and if it draws the void or the daze, it gets rid of them immediately too. Could also draw adrenaline or terror. Yeah, I guess that's worth doing. Violence draws one card. Sure. Okay. Get in there, Caltrops. You get that heart. Um, okay. So, four cards. I don't think we're going to be able to combo this turn, but maybe. I guess no, we probably can. Because, like, several of them exhaust. Oh yeah, deck spot, sure. I mean we can heal the heal the health back up with it too. I mean it doesn't really do anything, but Okay, so this is our first infinite against Hurt. Yeah, we were actually able to infinite without um exhausting the slime, daze or void. Oh wait, where's the daze? I guess we got rid of the daze somehow. We could survive, like, a lot of turns against this, because we can generate infinite block. And, um... So we could survive all the way to the, like, whatever, 61 times 15 turn, and then we'd still have uh, a Wraith form left that we could play. Oh, he's... Okay, he's, he's capped. <laughs> um, let's... Play outmaneuver for no reason and get rid of the slime. Yeah, those artifacts are coming up. We have piercing whale for one of them, and then we can, you know, we can neutralize backflip and get back into it. All right. Uh, that's true, he is already weak. Yeah, we can just make the weak carry over, I guess. I kind of missed my opportunity to start this turn with neutralize, but... Uh, we could just end with neutralize. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, we also have to do our exponential... Um, Backflip out maneuver scaling, so let's get that started. So we can use this to get exponential but non infinite amounts of uh, energy. It's exponential, because the amount the amount that we get every turn is dependent on how much we started the turn with. Yeah, we're, we're going to neutralize, too. Uh, 
Okay, so that's done. And then neutralize so that we can carry over for the rest of the turns. We end up with 12 next turn energy this turn. Neat. Did we shuffle twice there? I guess we did. Yeah, we, we, we tried to draw from a full... Uh, yeah, so we shuffled twice. We uh, I've never seen Abacus do the... Have Abacus be... Uh, so, the yeah, wh whether or not... How many times we shuffle there is usually only important for Sundial, but this time it was important for Abacus. Neat. Uh, okay, so we can peel off an extra artifact charge. Um, how can you shuffle twice? Yeah, so... Um, the shuffling rules are, are kind of obscure. Um, so the game tries to shuffle whenever you have an empty draw pile and draw. Um, so that turn, we drew the cards in the draw pile, and then it shuffled, um, and then we drew all of those cards, and then it tried to shuffle again, and then it realized there were no cards to shuffle and stopped drawing. Um, so if you have an empty discard pile, those two things will happen at the same time. So you'll you'll try to draw a card um uh well, sorry, if I guess if you have an if you have zero cards in both, you'll only shuffle once. But if you have one card here, you'll shuffle twice. Because you you'll shuffle the first time to, to put this card over here, then you'll draw it, and then you'll try to shuffle again, and, and there won't be any cards. And that counts as a shuffle. Yeah, it's a fairly important interaction, actually, for uh, for Sundial. Um, so if you have a Sundial and a card that that blocks, or a card that draws two cards and a card that draws one card, um, and they both cost one, then you can uh, can manipulate that. Um, okay, so now we do the exponential scaling. Very important step in the process. Merle would be proud of us if he were here. I mean, he could still be here. He, maybe he's just lurking. So every two energy we have this turn, we get three energy next turn. Great, yeah. So we have uh, 24 outmaneuvers next turn. I guess it's... Didn't we have 12 this turn? I guess it's not uh, precise, because we have uh, 3 energy to start with, right? So. Not sure if it was a bug or an interaction I didn't know. At the end of my turn, the burns were going into the discard pile instead of going away. Any idea what that would be? Yeah, that's how burns work. They don't exhaust. They, uh, they just go into your discard pile once they've done damage to you. Should have saved Doppel for a Doppel at the end. Uh, oh, Doppelganger with a, with 27. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Could have drawn 27 extra cards. Alright, um, so now we have to do the outmaneuver loop before we kill him. Just see how many we can get. Oh wait, shoot, we have to do heel hooks to get the uh, backflip back. Oops. We messed up. I guess we could use the uh, Gambler's Brew to get like one extra, but no. <laughs> Drat. Let's make sure to free any fairies. These don't look like fairies, but there could be fairies hiding in the in the block pot. You never know. Just to be safe. Go free those. Um, yeah, that was fun. Uh, Pandora's Box into, into two Wraith forms. Somebody said GG immediately. That person was pretty much correct. <laughs> uh, Wraith Forms are very strong. Having two of them in Act 1 is pretty absurd. Um, we didn't go to very many elites because we were afraid of slavers and um, uh, nemesis. Um, uh, but we, you know, we got the we got the scaling we needed. We found a um, a heel hook in Act 1. We weren't quite sure we were going to be infinite at the time. Um, uh, but when we found the second infinite, I think we were we were planning on doing infinite from there. Um, how many cards played in this run? How do you how do you know that? Um, Abacus says there was at least uh, forty five thirty divided by six cards, right? Um, <laughs> Abacus was 
Settings wheel and Infomod. Oh, cool. I didn't, I've never seen this one. Um, 1350 cards. <laughs> is that a lot of cards? Um, yeah, the heel hook loop is very slow um, and takes a lot of cards, but if you can find, um, if you can find an abacus, that'll, that'll block for you. Uh, we actually, like, if we hadn't bought the abacus, we were offered a uh, sundial slightly after that. Um, so there's a lot of, a lot of different, um, different relics that can make you do infinites. And we got enough of them here. We could have pulled it off with just kunai and no abacus. Um, but it would have been quite a bit more difficult. Um, yeah, not too much else to say. We, we ate Dolly's mirrored, or not Dolly's mirrored, the, the duplicator shrined a, a, a wraith form. Uh, probably didn't need to pick the doppelganger. We picked the doppelganger as our act. Two boss reward um, never really paid off. We usually played it for like one or zero. Um, yeah, pretty lucky actually to have dodged uh, dodged Nemesis and Time Eater. Those were probably the hardest fights in the run, but I think we would have won both. Um, we had quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of room after the um, empty cage in the deck, so I think we could have accommodated it around the burns. We did actually almost get full of wound of wounds against um, Reptomancer. Ripton Rancer gave us three wounds and threatened to give us a fourth. Um, but we had plenty of room. We even comboed on uh, on turn two against the heart with all the uh, ephemeral statuses in hand. So pretty smooth ride.